so I believe, I swing towards that position. I swing towards, you know, having the mindset of going out and preaching the gospel is going to claim rewards. And, you know, if, if I sin, if I backslide, will somebody, somebody else, I believe, will get it to them. They, they will have an opportunity here. Their salvation is not dependent on my righteousness, if that makes sense. And you might say, well, isn't that the same as Calvinism, right? That God is going to get somebody to them anyway. No, it's not, because Calvinism is God decides whether or not they can even believe, right? If they heard the gospel, they, they can't even believe. This is saying that God just makes sure everybody gets an opportunity. Everybody gets an opportunity, and then it's their choice whether or not to believe or not. And, but we can still hold them accountable because they've made that choice. They have willfully rejected the Lord Jesus Christ. So it's not like Calvinism. You know, but God, like, like we said in Romans 8, 28, God can work situations to make sure that a willing preacher gets the gospel to people who will believe. And if, you, if you're not willing, you'll just lose the blessing and somebody else will get it. So two other questions I just want to end on. So those are the three positions, and I, and I would swing to the last one, obviously, that um, you know, I think it's more just and fair, more, a more encompassing answer that God gets the gospel to everybody. Um, but you know, for, for some people that want to um, say some other accusations to God, they might say, well, if God knew I would not believe, why did he even create me? You know, like if God, if God knows everything and he knew that I would not believe, why would he even create me? And again, this is an accusation against God, just saying that it's God's fault. You know, it's your fault that I'm going to hell because you knew I wouldn't believe and yet you created me anyway. But, you know, that, that doesn't matter because that's not why God created them. You know, in the beginning, God created man to bless him and have dominion over him. You know, David says, you know, what, art, what is man that thou art mindful of him? Thou hast made him, to, you know, given him dominion over all your works. So, no, God did not create man to condemn him to hell. God created man in order to bless him and to be with him. That, that's just trying to shift the responsibility. You can see the question. They're trying to shift the responsibility of not believing on Jesus Christ to God. But they, but they can just accept the Lord Jesus Christ and then they'll go to heaven. And then they don't need to have this accusation. So God did not create man to curse him. God created man to bless him. Um, but, you know, Calvinism would say otherwise. Because Calvinism says God did create them to curse them. Because God created them, they could not believe, and he just created them to curse them. So in Calvinism, you could hold that accusation to God and say, God, why did you even create me if I couldn't even believe? <clears throat> and then somebody said, was, might just say, oh yeah, then God shouldn't have created me, right? Because he, he knew I couldn't believe. But, you know, like I said, if just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, it's not like you have to work for it. You just need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a free gift. Amen. You, know, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to go to church. You don't have to turn from your sin. You don't have to give your life to Jesus. All you have to do is just accept the free gift that he's already paid. Just accept it. You know, if you just accept it, then you don't have to throw these accusations to God. Just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you're saved forever. And if you really wanted to, you know, uh, I guess take advantage of the grace of God, you could continue in sin that grace would abound. But God forbid you would do that, um, that you would get right with God and, and that you would share the gospel with others. But even if you didn't, you would still be saved. There's no reason why uh, somebody would not have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ because it, it is a free gift. It is only conditional upon you accepting it because obviously you have to believe that it's there in order to even accept it, right? It's by faith. 